A deadly impact never before seen video of a teen driver in a Lamborghini hitting another car at more than 100 miles an hour, killing the woman behind the wheel. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey, and tonight there is a massive settlement in this case, but the victim's family says no amount of money will make this better for them. CBS 2's Chris Holmstrom is live in West LA near the crash site at Olympic and Overland. Chris. Good evening, Pat. Such a heartbreaking, tragic story, and it's a story that not only affects loved ones, but also people in this West L.A. community. Now, if you look behind me, you could see a permanent memorial at this tree, and neighbors that I, tell, that I spoke to tell me this tree right here, this is Monique's tree. Newly released video shows the tragic moment 32-year-old Monique Munoz was killed in West L.A. You can see Munoz waiting to make a turn. As she approaches the intersection, the driver of this Lamborghini ran a red light and slammed into her. All of us on this street, when we heard it, everyone ran out. Nancy Chang lives right behind the site of the crash. It was heartbreaking and heart-wrenching hearing it and witnessing. We were with her throughout because her family, I don't think they were informed until later that night. Munoz died on the scene. The driver, an unlicensed 17-year-old and the son of a wealthy businessman. The teen was sentenced to nine months in juvenile camp and four years probation. Family and friends of Munoz fought for months to make sure the teen was held accountable. We spoke to her mother during one of his court appearances last year. I didn't want to see him. I didn't want to see his, his family. I didn't. No. Because at the end of the day, he, he was the last person to see my daughter alive. More than a year later, an $18.8 .8 million settlement was reached between Munoz's family and the family of the 17-year-old driver. The Munoz attorney released a statement saying in part, the family pleaded for the district attorney to investigate this case and met with the office dozens of times to advocate for their family. It was never about money for the Munoz family. It was about acknowledgement of Brennan Curry's misconduct that resulted in the death of their only daughter and to ensure that he was held accountable. A heartbreaking thought for so many, including those who live in this community. They just hope that Munoz's family can finally get the closure they deserve. Losing um, a loved one is not easy, so just praying that they will find peace. And the father of the 17-year-old also released a statement on social media saying in part that he hopes the settlement will help the Munoz family build a new beginning that will honor her spirit. But as you just heard in this story, the love out here from the neighbors is strong and they will make sure that Monique will always be remembered. Reporting live in West LA, I'm Chris Holmstrom, CBS 2 News. Oh, thank you, Chris.